So a couple of people asked me to show how my sample for the Shield Studio for LED Matrix Shield works. So here it is. I created a helper class, basically a wrapper around what's given. Uh, it's a LED Matrix class that can perform basic operations with the Shield. That being said, here's a .NET Micro Framework 4.1 application. And here is how it works. You can see the LED matrix shield on the right side of the screen. And I have a light filter applied to it. So it's better visualized how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is initialize the LED matrix. Pass the address. Pass for Arduino. And then I'm going to control this matrix in a way I want. So let's say I can write a string. Now, if you know the default sample can show you how you can write separate characters, but it doesn't show you how to write a batch of characters at once. So this is why I'm saying this is more of a wrapper around the existing functionality. It's all very basic. So I'm just going to write a string like my name is and three periods. And now as you can see, there is a string effect optional parameter. And by default, it said to mark the right, so I can ignore it. And let's see how it works. So I'm just gonna run. And now look carefully how the text starts and where it goes. All right, it's deployed. There it is. It starts on the right side and it goes to the left. Once the string is completed, it stops and then resets and starts over. So it's a continuous mark. Now I can go to the left, actually start from the left side. Let's see how the text is displayed now. So it actually starts from the left, goes to the right, and follows the same principle. You can see the characters are inverted. So not the characters themselves, but the order. And this is just a utility class. Now, uh, this is a method that can be easily modified. And depending on the effect, if you want to change the way the mark left works, for example, instead of changing the order of the characters, like the way they are displayed, you want to display them the same way as it is from right going to the left, so it's still readable, you can change the order, it's really easy. Now I'm gonna stop debugging. Let's say I want to display this in blocks. And what this will do is split the big string in parts of four characters, and if there is no block of four, for example, there is a odd number of characters in a string, then it will add additional spaces. So it fills the four blocks and the shield. So let's see how it works now. All right. As you can see here, exactly what I was talking about. The string is split in parts of four and spaces are considered. I'm not ignoring spaces here. If you want to, once again, you can modify the basic class. Now this is all fun, but what's even more fun here is I can directly write single characters. Let's say I want to write A. I want to write it to a panel, it's a matrix unit. Basically, it's one of the LED sections. So I'm just going to say A. It's the one that starts on the left. And there's a uh, carry effect that I can apply to characters. Uh, the default one is none. 
so it's not blinking or anything. So I'm just going to ignore it. And before I go there, I can call metrics.clear. So it will actually erase all the data. And that's one of the cool methods I really like about this sample, that I can simply clear the matrix. It will clear the entire shield, obviously, like all the LEDs. So let's see what it does. So it clears the data first and it will erase completely and then display A. Great. Now, what if I want to pass an effect? So I can simply pass an effect as a short blink. And once again, call it. It blinked and display A again. Now the same thing applies for long blink. It will just take a little bit longer for it to come back after A was hidden. So what I did here is I can do the same, let's say for all four LED matrices and pass them all with short blink. Now, Look at how blinking occurs. It will not occur at the same time as you would expect them. They will occur sequentially, each after another. This is due to the single threaded nature of Neduino and this can be modified with states and a timer, but for now it's just enough. For example, you need to blink a character to alert about something. For example, if you're monitoring the temperature and the temperature sensor shows that there is a specific level and you need to simply blink one character and that's the way it can be used. It can be easily modified. Now, what about writing inverse characters? So let's say Write A and X unit A. It's a good idea to uh, call clear every time you start the process just to make sure that there is no redundant data used. And let's see what it does now. All right, as you can see, the A character is inverted, and now the letter A itself is not lit up, but the background is. So this is calculated by adding 128 uh, bytes to the default value for, if you look at the ASCII character table at the decimal representation, that's the value you will modify. It's available for most of the alphanumeric characters. And one thing I can add here, is that I can print special characters for easier use. So there is a special here, and I can use arrow down, arrow up, empty, which will clear the specific uh, matrix, euro, I can fill it completely, frank, hands up, plus minus, it can be a rectangle or yen, so let's say uh, it can be arrow down, for matrix unit uh, A. Uh, well, actually, it's not an inverse, it's a single. I can write inverse as well, it's completely supported. I'm going to show you in a second that these methods are replaceable. Arrow down, here it can be arrow up, here it can be yen, and here it can be a rectangle. So I'm just gonna launch it. Okay, uh, I forgot that it's all on A, so I just have to change them. 
But you can see the special character, the rectangle, is displayed in A. And that makes it easier. It's all taken from the system chart table. And I simply use the hex values inside an enum. And there it is. You can clearly see there's an arrow down, arrow up, yen, and a rectangle. Now I can pass the inverse character for this. And it will still display them correctly. It applies for most of the characters that can have its value modified by 128 bytes.